नमस्कार वेलकम टू स्ट्रिंग एंड हियर इज द बिगेस्ट एवर एक्सपोज ऑफ द ग्रेट आर टूल किट इंसिडेंट यू विल फाइंड ऑल दिस लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन On 3rd February 2021 at 5:19 p.m. IST, Greta accidentally leaked a toolkit. The date and time should be engraved in your minds. Let me keep it here. It was a Google Doc file and it had many interconnected docs. BJP supporters and nationalists started saying that all the anti-national names are there in the leaked toolkit and it is well planned attack by anti-nationals. The left started attacking them and started calling them bugs and godi media as always. Right wing nationalists failed to give any evidence. Nothing came from the BJP IT cell as well. Now allow me to tell you who is the real Godi media. Let me take you directly there. Here is a thread of tweets by a woman named Annalisa Marelli and this is a Twitter handle. Before reading the tweet, notice the date and time. 1st February 2021, 4:59 p.m. IST. Almost 2 days before Greta leaked the toolkit. She is promoting some of the independent and brave publications. Let me keep independent here. Keep noticing the date time on the publication name. I'll also open the photo of leaked document by Greta. Let's start comparing both of them and put them on the timeline. Caravan 5 p.m. first web. Scroll dot in 5 p.m. first web. Parry network 56 p.m. first web. The wire 523 p.m. first web. The news minute 534 p.m. first web. News laundry 722 p.m. first web. Khabar Lehria 85 p.m. first web. India spend 86 p.m. first web. EPW dot in 101 p.m. second web. All news 48 a.m. third feb just 12 hours before getting the greater toolkit leaked and what are they asking for donations and money 52.in third feb 423 a.m. article 14 third feb 620 p.m. notice this is exactly 1 hour after the greater toolkit tweet the quint 743 p.m. third feb 2 and 1/2 hours after the leaked toolkit outlook india 747 p.m. third feb himalistan 748 third feb This itself proves that all these people planned it one or two days before the toolkit got leaked. This means all these people already had the toolkit in their hands at least two days before. This also means it was a pre-planned war against India. Now don't come to me and say this lady simply made the list and nobody saw. You know who saw the list? The so-called best fact checker of India, Muhammad Zubair, and he retweeted it as well. Now it's too late to go back and correct it, Mr. Zubair. Let me also keep this Zubair here. His name is also in the toolkit along with his company name. is working double time isn't it interesting there are many names who are in this tweet thread and in the leaked toolkit as well and none of the dhruva art is so called godi media like op india swarajya magazine republic z news sudarshan news are there in both of the lists what if i tell you what you saw on 3rd february as the leaked toolkit was not even planned on 2nd of 1st february but was planned at least 5 months back got shocked So here is the moment of truth. In the beginning of October 2020, a foundation was registered by the name DigiPub News India Foundation. It's an organization representing digital only news platforms. Means no printed magazines, no printed newspapers were a part. You want to see the members? Here they are. Alt News, Article 14, Boom Live, Cobra Post, HW News, News Click, News Laundry, Scroll, The News Minute, The Quaint, and The Wire. Independent. Mota bye. Why is it again matching with the Greta leak toolkit names and analysis Twitter thread? This is not any coincidence. I request the Modi government, Ministry of External Affairs, NIA, CBI, ED and other agencies to probe these anti-India news publications. You will definitely find some money trails linking them to someone big. I expose them in the 5 minutes and that's my style. But wait, I have just started. Let's read what's written at the bottom. Chairperson from News Minute, Dhani Rajendran. Vice Chairperson from News Click, Prabir Purkayasta. General Secretary Ritu Kapoor from the Quint and Abhinandan Sekri from News Laundry. Just now I got a good news that ED had raided News Click. Now you will see these people will go against ED as well, conspiring against India. Conspiring for at least 5 months for pressurizing the Ministry of External Affairs so much that they had to release an official statement and for pressurizing the whole country to a level that even our cricketers had to come out and tweet with hashtag #India against propaganda and India together. Then you troll Sachin Tendulkar for that? Let me show you the website. Can you see the so-called freelancers? Fight Resourcer. This explains the reason why Fight Resourcer's name was in the leaked toolkit. Their anti-national paid agent Dhruv Rathi. Now I'll teach you how to understand chronology. All these anti-nationals planned at least 5 months back and made a foundation to receive funds from outside. Then they received the toolkit at least 2 days before on 1st Feb, which the dumb girl Greta also received and accidentally leaked on 3rd Feb. They plan to destabilize the government and the whole country by using their digital only news platform. They are a part of propaganda along with Meena Harris, Greta Thunberg, Akash Panerjee and you. 
Dhruv Rati. Because your whole channel is a lie. You used articles from the Quint, the Wire, the News Laundry and Alt News as authentic sources. Now I proved with facts that all these are anti-national elements and are directly involved in destabilizing the country. Because of you people, my country lost 70,000 crores in the third quarter from these motivated agitations and protests. Because of you people, my country is losing 3,500 crores every single day. You people are the reason our country, our economy is going down. Motabai, where is the economy going? Even Vijay Malia couldn't run from the government. All his assets outside India are getting seized. Mr. Rati, you manipulated the youth with the help of all these anti-national news publications. On 5th Feb, two days after the Greater League Toolkit incident, Barkhadeh did an interview with the same Annalisa Merrily. Here is the proof in the form of a tweet. Even Barkha replied to her tweet. Coincidentally, coincidentally, Moja has a YouTube video of George Soros condemning Modi, spreading hate and conspiring against the country. Barkha's funding should be probed immediately as this is a national security concern. Coincidentally, Barkha was also mentioned in the leak toolkit. Barkha, you have been trying so hard since 2002 to pull down Modi ji. You are not successful at that time and I will not let you succeed this time either. You know who else tried to pull down Modi ji in 2002? Anti-national Rana Ayub. Also see how the toolkit wants people to follow Saket Gokhale. Let me show you a few tweets here. Either this is the most weird coincidence or I am missing something. There is this old lady, Kavita and Ramdas, giving rising hands emojis on Rana Ayub's tweet on 2nd Feb, which is one day before the Greater Toolkit got leaked. The same lady tags Narendra Modi, BJP, Rihanna and Greta Thunberg in a tweet on 3rd Feb, five hours after the Toolkit got leaked. And the same old lady used the hashtag Farmers Protest, tagged BJP, Gautam Adani, Mukesh Ambani and tried to troll Sachin and look on whose tweets she is doing all these things. The Congress mouthpiece Saket Gokhale. The same two names of billionaires were targeted in Greta's leak toolkit, Mukesh Ambani and Gautam Adani. Coincidence, coincidence, coincidence. But do you guys know who this old lady is? Don't be fooled by the likes and retweets on her account. Here, she got tagged by the official Twitter handle of Open Society Foundation. Let's click and see. She has written that she works for Open Society. Let's see on the official Open Society website whether she works there or not. Yes, she does. She joined in August 2018 and that's her profile on the website. She actually works for Soros. You know who else is indirectly funded from Soros? Pratik Sinha and Mohammed Zubair from Alt News. Alt News is certified by IFCN, International Fact Checking Network. Pointer Institute is one who provides IFCN certificate. As you can see here, it's a non-profit journalism school and research organization. Whenever the non-profit word comes, it is easy to understand that they are taking funds from someone. When I went to their funders page, they mentioned a few names who have donated more than $50,000. See here is this name again, Open Society Foundation. So Soros has made his own network to provide certificates to anti-nationals. He gave money to Pointer which provides the fact checking certificate which the Alt News received. And this guy brags being the best fact checker in India. An anti-national paid agents like Dhruvrati wants you people to follow Alt News and their DG pub Deshdrohi gang. Isn't this thing joining all the dots? Can't you see who is funding all these things? But the whole thing is incomplete without knowing who is Annalisa Merrily. Let's see her Twitter account. She works for the Quads. Her pin tweet is the same tweet from 1st Feb. She has only 15k followers but her pin tweet has 28.6k likes and 9.8k retweets. Isn't it strange? Her other tweets don't even cross 11 likes and 5 retweets. Now a man with the IQ equivalent to Dhruv Rati can also understand that her pin tweet was a well supported tweet by the left ecosystem to destroy India. Isn't it weird that her location says NYC Bergamo Dili Dilme? NYC is in the US, Bergamo is in the Italy and Delhi is in India. We all know which is the only Italian family in our country. Coincidentally, one of the Italian flew to Italy on a short personal visit on 27th December 2020. She also seems like a fan of Rahul Gandhi. She has beautifully covered his Weiner rallies in 2019. All our agencies have to do is track her movements in the past 1-2 to two years and Rahul Gandhi's movements. They'll surely get something out of this. Let's see some of her articles or tweets to understand her political inclination. Okay, one anti-Trump article and one pro-Hillary tweet. I got it. Also, 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 coincidentally, she has written many articles on Scrawl.in, which is one of the founding members of the DGPub News India Foundation. I leave it to the IQ of people to infer whatever they want from this, but I know what the government will do from this information. Even after giving so many solid proofs and a path for the agencies to follow, if Modi ji, you won't shut them down now, you don't deserve a next term in 2024. I know a lot of questions are still unanswered. Questions like why are they targeting Sachin? Why are they targeting only Ambani and Adani? Why not other billionaires? What is the role of NDTV in it? And finally, why Soros is doing all these things? I'll reveal that in the next episode of String Reveals.
string is available in hindi kannada and telugu as well please subscribe to your favorite regional channel like and share the video please support us through patreon and one time payment options see you again in the next video of string reveals